Greetings, everyone. This is Steam Team Read WK, CC Trainer Ling, here to bring you another retro review from past seasons of The Loud House. In today's video, we take a look at the April Fool's Day episode from Season 2, which I can say, without a doubt, is the greatest April Fool's Day episode the series ever made. Well, for the most part. Today's episode is titled, Fool's Paradise. First, we'll discuss the plot, and then my thoughts and critiques with my final score. So, let's get right into it. The episode begins with Luann's family trying trying to come up with a way to prevent getting pranked on April Fool's Day. They get the idea to send Luann to a clown camp during the holiday weekend, but they soon experience a series of pranks after their car breaks down and they're forced to stay at a motel. Not only do they figure out Luann is the one behind the pranks, but Lincoln finds out their dad had been helping her the whole time. Lynn Sr. makes amends for his actions by tricking Luann into falling into her own pranks, to which she admits defeat, but vows to not go easy on her family next year, especially on her own father. Well, that concludes the plot of the episode, so now we come to my thoughts and critiques. When it comes to writing and having certain things in a story serve a purpose, Fool's Paradise is a prime example of how taking the time to think a plot all the way through has a good payoff. Some things weren't thought all the way through, but I'll get to those moments when I discuss the negatives. First, the positives. As I mentioned at the beginning, the writing for the story and the characters were very good and kind of clever when you think about it. For example, when the family finds out Luann is the one causing all the pranks, everyone except Lynn Sr. is screaming. On top of that, the way he talks to the motel manager, which is just Luann in disguise, doesn't sound natural, as if he had been planning on what he was going to say from the start. The dad drops a lot of foreshadowing during these moments, and I never picked up on that when I first watched this back in 2017. It's hard to believe the man willingly put his family through all these crazy occurrences, but hey, anything to stay prank-free for the next 10 years. To be honest, I would have done the same thing. I also had to appreciate the clever irony of the prank me not poncho. What was supposed to be a hazmat suit to prevent getting caught up in the pranks was ultimately worn by Luann as a result of getting caught up in her own pranks. Perhaps the most interesting part of the episode was when Lynn Sr. reveals how he and Luann have been planning all the misfortunes of the family for a long time. From planting a fake magazine ad for the clown camp to buying land and even faking Vanzilla breaking down rather conveniently in front of a motel, these two were determined not to leave a trail behind. This is what separates Fool's Paradise from every other April Fool's Day episode in the series. The exposition lays out the details on how and why everything that happened to the family happened in the manner the audience sees. Of course, there are some things that are not quite clear, and the viewers have to piece the puzzle together for themselves. For one, when Lynn Jr. talks about those gas station burritos, I assume Luann was able to catch up to the family, hitch a ride under Vanzilla, without getting hurt, surprisingly, and steal Lana's toolbox while the family was stopped at said gas station that might not have been too far away from where she was initially dropped off. I'll also go out on a limb and take a guess by saying either she and her dad paid off the people of the motel to leave for the night, or that they renovated an abandoned one. However, not everything can be properly explained, so now we come to some of the more noticeable plot holes. Lana had her tool belt stolen by Luann, but she's seen in the motel with her tool belt. So why wouldn't Luann have taken both when no one was looking? Another thing I noticed was how Lana says she's allergic to the rhubarb. Yet Lincoln says nobody had a food allergy in One Flew Over the Loud House. The biggest issue the episode had when it came to Luann getting her comeuppance was the fact she had cameras placed throughout the motel. She could see everyone getting hit with her pranks, and it raises the two most important questions. How could she not have seen Lincoln finding out their dad was being complicit in the pranks, and how could she not have seen the two of them setting up the pranks she ended up walking into herself? Unless the basement doesn't have any cameras, which I doubt, and Luann just conveniently stepped away from the monitors while her brother and father were concocting their plan, again, which I doubt, there's no way Luann could have been that oblivious to what was going on, and more specifically, what was going to happen. I understand she had to get a taste of her own medicine, and it was very much deserved, but you have to admit that when everything else was planned out with a huge amount of stealth and sneakiness, the way the villain gets punished when there was realistically no way she could have not seen it coming puts a huge damper on things. Don't get me wrong, I still enjoyed the gradual build up as the episode played out. It's just that a contrived ending doesn't do anyone any favors, but that's just me. Overall, even though the April Fool's Day episodes leave a lot to be desired, this one here was how to do these kinds of storylines the correct way. The writing, the foreshadowing, the backstory exposition, and the clever use of irony in regard to the hazmat suit is what made this April Fool's Day episode stand out from all the others. Again, while there are some plot holes that can be explained, like Luann being able to catch up to her family when they drop her off, 
The bigger ones, like Luann not paying attention to the fact her family was preparing to beat her at her own game, even though she had cameras watching them, can't be brushed aside so easily. Whether you decide to chalk this and the other April Fool's Day adventures up to the idea of taking place in their own universe, something I talk about in my Silence of the Luann's review, this episode is one you can definitely appreciate for what it is. With that said, I give Fool's Paradise a 9 out of 10. Well folks, that concludes my review of Fool's Paradise. If there's anything to be learned from this episode, it would be how a little backstory can really make all the difference between something that looks like a lot of effort was put into it, and something that, well, you know what I mean. So what did you guys think of it? Love it? Hate it? Something you would add? Change? Keep it as it is? Let me know in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe to this channel for the latest Loud House content. That's going to do it for me. I'll catch you guys for the next video, but until then, this is Steam Team Read UK, CC Trainer Ling, signing off. Peace out, home slices.